Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations given that p of 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 equals x squared. And how can we find p of x? So at the end of this video, after we find f of p of x, then I will show you how we check these functional equations. So let's start with solution first. By applying the substitution method, the domain of this function is 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 3. So first thing is x here is not equals 3. So that is, if x equals 3, that is a problem at this point. So therefore, x must not be equals 3. And to define this domain very well, so we just say we start from uh, negative infinity, then here we have 3. So union, we have 3 to positive infinity. So actually this negative infinity is not there and this is not there. So that is the essence of this bracket. So bracket means here that this number that is very close to it is not part of this uh, interval and also this is not part of this interval. So the number ranges from a number that comes after this then a number that comes before this. So 3 is not included and that these two infinity they are not included. So those other values they satisfy this domain. And after that we are going to apply substitution method. Let's try to let the whole of this, which is 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 equals t. So after letting this one equals t, so the next thing here is, let's multiply through out by this denominator, which is x minus 3. So here we have x minus 3, then we multiply this side by x minus 3, as we have x minus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 equals x minus 3 then multiply by t so x minus 3 cancelled x minus 3 and uh, we have 2x minus 1 equals x minus 3 multiplied by t so next let's open this bracket with t x 2x minus 1 equals x times t we have it as x t minus 3 times t that is 3t so next let's collect every single x to one side by subtracting x t from both sides here we have 2x minus 1 minus x t equals minus 3t so let's take one to other side as well as we have this side remains 2x minus xt equals when one comes to this side it becomes 1 minus 3t next is let's factor out x if we factor out x from here we have this as 2 minus t equals 1 minus 3t um, by dividing both sides by 2 minus t so we have this also as 2 minus t. 2 minus t cancelled 2 minus t. And uh, the end result of making x the subject of the formula, it gives us 1 minus 3t divided by 2 minus t. Here is what we get for making x the subject of the formula. Then we now come back to the given problem and we try to replace every single x with 1 minus 3t divided by 2t. So this is what we have. And uh, let's replace this. Initially, we let 2x minus 1 over x minus 3 to be equals t. By changing that, we have p of t equals, and the x here is now equals 1 minus 3t over 2 minus t. Replacing it, we have 1 minus 3t divided by 2 minus t but all raised to the power of 2 so by switching this we are going to change t to x we have p of x equals 
1 minus 3x divided by 2 minus x all raised to the power of 2. And this is the result of p of x. But how can we now verify if this result satisfies the uh, initial equation? So let's see how we can uh, verify that. And uh, to verify this, we come back to this given domain, which is 2x minus 1 over x minus 3. Let's replace every single x with 1 minus 30. So we have both numerator and the denominator. So for the numerator, let's call it n. We have 2x minus 1. So for this 2x minus 1, we replace every x here with 1 minus 3t over 2 minus t. So this implies that we have 2 brackets, 1 minus 3t divided by 2 minus t. Then a is minus 1. By evaluating this further, we have 2 times 1, that is 2 minus 2 times 3t. We have it as 6t divided by, here is 2 minus t minus 1. And this divided by 1. If this divided by 1, then we have to multiply this one with this minus 1 and we expand further as 2 minus 6t minus j. Then times this, we have 2 minus t all divided by 2 minus t. So again, we have 2 minus 6t minus times this, that is minus 2 plus t divided by 2 minus t and this equals plus 2 minus 2 cancelled and minus 60 plus t that gives us minus 5t divided by 2 minus t so this is the result of the numerator and uh, let's see for the denominator so as for the denominator we have this as x minus 3 so that is the denominator then by referring, by replacing every single x with what we have as the value of x. So we are going to have 1 minus 3t divided by 2 minus t, then minus 3. So if this is 3 divided by 1, then we multiply this with this. We have 1 minus 3t minus, so this becomes minus 6 plus 3t divided by 2 minus t. And uh, the result of this gives us, this cancel this, and 1 minus 5t, uh, minus 6, that gives us minus 5 divided by, uh, we have 2 minus t. So this is what we get for the denominator, and uh, we have the numerator as well, which we got as minus 5t divided by 2 minus t. So uh, by dividing numerator with denominator, so we have n divided by d. So as the value, the n we got is minus 5t divided by 2 minus t. So all divided by, the denominator is given as minus 5 divided by 2 minus t. So 2 minus t cancelled 2 minus t, and this cancelled this. Also, we have 5 cancelled 5. So with the result of this gives us t. So this shows that this is equals to the final, uh, the final result. Because when we try to plug it, this thing back into the equation, we are going to have uh, p of t equals the, uh, the x squared that we have, that is x squared. And by replacing x squared with 1 minus 3t over 2 minus t, so we get the same result. So this is how to solve this. And there's another method of solving this, different from this. So I'll just leave a int here, so that we can uh, try to practice out. Suppose we assume that f p of t uh, p of x is a rational function so we just try to set it to be a x plus b divided by c x plus d so we can try and evaluate this we get the same result with what we get here thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye